Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you how to import your contacts into the CRM. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, once you've created your contact list in Excel or whatever form you're going to do it or exported it, however you're going to do it, um, you go to your website all the way in the bottom, you log in, it'll send you to your dashboard. When you go to your dashboard, then click clients and then contact list. Okay. Now, all we're going to do is click import contacts. And it will give you the requirements of what each field needs to be. Now, what you really want to do is download this CSV file because it'll give you the template. Now, the template cannot be changed, so don't change the template. What I mean by that is I've already opened this. <clears throat> you cannot change anything in this row right here. If you change anything in that row, it won't upload. So what I've done is I've uh, put the Jones family in here. And the Jones family, I have a phone number and email for. I don't have anything else. So there, there you go. They're set up. Now what I need to do is save this as a CSV file. If I save it in an Excel file, it won't work. So I'm just going to put this on my desktop and I'm going to call it test 10 and then hit save. You can click yes on there. Now sometimes you have to uh, close this or the program will crash, but let's see what happens when I do this. Okay, so I'm going to hit next. <clears throat> And then I'm going to hit Browse. I'm going to go to Test 10 that I saved on my desktop. And then I'm going to click Next. <clears throat> now, everything should be kosher. It says there's no errors because I just typed it right into the template. Now, if you're importing and moving stuff into that template, you may have some issues. This one doesn't have any. So it tells us it's got 27 fields. They're all valid. No invalid fields. Uh, the emails exist. Um, number of clients, records, and number of records to import, all of that. So I hit next. <clears throat> um, once you get past this point, you can't get back, so I'm going to hit OK. Now it's going to ask me if I want to put these in an existing group or I want to add a new group. Now remember, we only add them to groups if they are going to be advertised to differently. If you're not going to advertise to them differently, then don't put them in groups. So I'm actually going to add to a new group, click Next, and then I'm going to call the new group Test 10. And if I want to put a description in there, I put Test 10, and then I'll put the date in there. Um, okay, and then hit Next. And then what it will do is automatically put them in there. So if you really want to um, be very specific about your groups, um, as you're uploading them, before you upload them, break them into those groups and then just import them uh, as that. So I want to make them all an active web client. So I'll hit Next. Okay, so it says valid, contacts imported, activate as web clients everybody in the email, and then I put them in the test group. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Okay? So you're all done. Now, if you're just going to add one at a time, just hit Add Contact, and then type through the information. There's a lot more information in there that you can put, and then you can add them to the groups and so on and so forth. So that's all pretty easy. That took less than four minutes to import an entire group. Thanks.